And then as I pull her in, she's looking me up and down, so then I just take her with the other hand. Boom, you got an open. What's up guys? So welcome to another preview of uh, Dance Floor Game Accelerator, my upcoming program on how to pick up girls on the dance floor. Here we're going to crack into a quick segment on uh, how to approach on the dance floor. You might have seen the previous video that I released uh, a week or two ago, where you just see me kiss a bunch of girls in 30 minutes or less or something like that. You might be seeing this like, well, how the fuck do I even talk to a girl? I don't know how to talk to a girl on the dance floor yet. Well, you're gonna learn that here, and it's very simple. And you'll see sometimes you don't even have to talk. The point of opening and starting an interaction is just to start the interaction. Okay, that's it. Once you're in there, then you can move to the next step. But you know, most of the guys just have the trouble just starting. But starting isn't that hard. It's actually pretty easy, as you'll see on the uh, video. So without further ado, let's crack into it. What is up guys? We're gonna crack into some more infield. This is from 2015. Haven't seen some of that infield in a long time. But you know what? It's always good to have a I guess a fresh perspective on it again. So let's check it out. Wow. <laughs> so I opened by just looking into her phone. I just think it's funny. Whatever you find funny. Uh, whatever is spontaneous at the moment is usually better than any technique or line you could find at any time, you know? So whatever is spontaneous, you should do it. So that's what I did right there. It's kind of my goofy personality. Um, let's keep going. Okay, so that, that, was, that was pretty quick. A lot of things going on there. It's uh, I open. I, I think I tell her something like, uh, you shouldn't be texting, something like that. She's like, uh, oh yeah, it's at 1%. I'm putting it away, putting it away. She's reacting to me and I'm sort of setting the rhythm there. When I said that leading happens from the moment you say hello, this is what I mean. When you start an interaction, it's not just leading from place to place uh, when you should be leading or from face to face. You're leading throughout the interaction. So you say hello, you're setting, we're talking, I'm getting your name right now. Uh, you're not uh, gonna text because you're gonna talk to me. So this is the type of rhythm you wanna set. Pretty good overall. It's physical reciprocity, verbal reciprocity. She asks questions back and stuff like that. This is hooked, so that's pretty good. The friend is there, so I just wave hello, you know. Make sure they feel included too. You want it to hook ASAP. <laughs> So this girl, boom. I'm always on. I'm always on. How did I start this interaction? If she's dancing in front of you, you just dance in front of her. You give her the opportunity to open you. It's like so obvious that she should talk to you that she will, you know. You don't have to do the crazy try hard thing. If you're feeling lower energy, you're just having your fun. Especially if you're facing her, you're looking at her, eventually she will talk to you, so. I was born with it. Yeah. I came out of my mom's vagina was on it. I love it. You know, some people, they, they look a bit self-conscious about the camera. I don't know if they were. It's a way to make them feel more comfortable, make a joke out of the camera. This is the best way to go about it is you make a joke about it and uh, you continue going, you know? So let's say if uh, someone teases you about something, whatever. Oh, what's that shirt? Like, oh yeah, I was born with it. Uh, I came out of my mom's vagina with that shirt. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I'm a bit ADD there. I don't know which girl to talk to. I'm just talking to everyone, but whatever. See, so there's a guy there. If you're like 50-50 that they're together, or maybe they're just friends or whatever, just go for it. Doesn't matter. You'd be surprised how many guys are not going to do anything, and you never know until you try. Think about that, okay? If you could take something out of that infield, uh, out of that course, it's really that. If you don't try, you will never no, you will never get anything. I just tried and she complied. Let's just rewind back a bit. I just want to see how I opened. No. Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? Just touch her on the wrist as you see. Okay, so I take her hand and as I pull, how does she react? She's smiling, that's good. And how does the guy look? Look at the guy. I don't know, he doesn't seem to give a shit. No, he doesn't give a shit. doesn't give a shit, so that's good. And then as I pull her in, she's looking me up and down, so then I just take her with the other hand. Boom, you got an open. So it's simple. It's very simple. Hey, what's your name? Whatever you want to open with. You, I gave you a list of opens. Just, just try them out, and then once it hooks, then you want to keep talking, vibing to her, and eventually you want to bounce her out where you can uh, get the work. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Because so I'm like, hey, how's it going? It's been a while. And I don't even know her. <laughs> she thinks she knows you. And she doesn't. You should try this one out. It assumes familiarity. Uh, you don't have much time to like, oh, what's your name? So then you should be like, oh, it's been a long time. And then you cut down like five minutes of conversation of getting to know you. Just like in her mind. Doesn't mean literally you cut down five minutes. But in her mind, it feels like, oh, wait, maybe I know this guy. And uh, on the dance floor, it's pretty packed. So any anything like that, that assumes familiarity, it's just better. We introduce. I want to dance with you. So you hear the, the tone of my voice, it's kind of a, the entire frame on the dance floor that I have, it's like, I can't resist you, uh, I gotta dance with you right now, I wanna have sex with you right now. Coming from that frame of sort of the sex addict frame, every single physical move you will make will make sense. With that frame, whatever physical move you do, she's not gonna be like, oh, the, why is he doing this, doesn't make sense. It'll all make sense. Now, you still wanna calibrate, obviously, if she... If you're going too fast, you want to slow down and everything, but just the frame that every move from then on will make sense, I think is a beautiful frame. And if you're beginner to intermediate, I highly recommend you try out. It is a good uh, frame to begin with. Um, obviously, if you become more advanced, then you want to become more subtle. You might want to drop that frame and try something else. But for now, if you got to open a lot, you want to get to the man to woman as soon as possible, especially on the dance floor where you can't talk really much. Try it out. Oh,